Welcome to Divine Consulting, a place where we connect people, innovation and technology to create a successful result for our clients. My name is Lucky Igwe. In my previous videos, we've talked about the PPS step of the NIST Risk Management Framework using NIST Special Publication 837-REF2. We've categorized the information system using Phase 199 and NIST 860. We have selected the applicable security control to provide safeguard to the information system using NIST 853. Those selected security controls have been implemented and the implementation statements have been documented in the system security plan. And the security control assessor has conducted control assessments to determine if the selected controls are and if the implemented security controls are implemented correctly, if they are functioning as intended and if they are producing the desired outcome. Today, we'll be moving forward to the authorized step of the NIST Risk Management Framework. Today, we'll be looking at the authorized step of the NIST Risk Management Framework. The objective of the authorized step is to understand the required document found in the authorization package and different decisions the authorizing official can make with respect to the security authorization of the system. The purpose of the authorized step is to provide organizational accountability by requiring a senior management official to determine if the security and privacy risk to the organizational operation and assets, individuals or other organization based on the operation of a system or the use of common controls is acceptable. The NIST publication used for authorization of information system is the NIST 837 Rev 2, which talks about the risk management framework for information systems and organizations, a system life cycle approach for security and privacy. The following tags are associated with the authorized step of the NIST risk management framework. The first tax is the authorization package. The system owner, in coordination with the ISSO and the assessor, assembles the authorization package and submits the package to the authorizing official for an authorization decision. The authorization package includes the system security plan, the security assessment report, and the plan of action and milestone. The next task is the risk analysis and determination. The AO analyzes and determines the risks from the operation or the use of system or the provision of common controls. The next task is the risk response. The AO, in coordination with the system owner, identifies and implements the preferred course of action in response to the risk determined. The next task is the authorization decision. The AO determines if the risk from the operation or use of information system or the provision or use of common controls is acceptable. The next task is the authorization reporting. The AO reports the authorization decision and any deficiencies in controls that represent significant security or privacy risk. The authorization package includes three security documents. The first document is the system security plan. The system security plan is a PL2 control. It's a document that must be renewed or reviewed or updated annually or whenever there's a major change to the system or to the application. The next document is the SAR. The SAR is the security assessment report. The security assessment report is a document that is developed by the security control assessor for the purpose of briefing the authorizing official. It shows the current or present security posture of the application or the system. And this is a CA2 or RA3 control. The next document is the POEM, which is the Plan of Action and Milestone. The Plan of Action and Milestone is a CA5 control. The Plan of Action and Milestone is used to document any identified vulnerability from the POEM report or from a vulnerability scan report and is used to track those vulnerabilities to remediation. To know more about the NIST Risk Management Framework and other services that we offer, visit our website at www.divineconsult.com or you can send us an email at info at divineconsult.com. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel so that you'll be the first to be notified when a new video is released. Thank you.